and welcome back. So we did have a lot of sunshine as we made our way through the day today. We're on the cool side of this high pressure system. So even with the sunshine, just a light northerly wind, keeping temperatures down currently at our high for the day of 58 degrees. We'll see if we can actually get a couple of degrees above that and make 60. But as of right now, we do have calm winds, dry conditions that dew point of 21 degrees. Current temperatures look like this, 52 at Broken Bow and Lexington. Valentine warmer than that at 53, Fedford at 55. Ogallala is the warm spot at 63 degrees right now. There's your wind, very light from a northerly or trying to flip around to a northeasterly direction along the I-80 corridor. Wind speeds right now around 0 to 6 miles per hour in most places. Now, Doppler radar showing once again we barely have a cloud in the sky, lots of sunshine across the region, really dry air with that high pressure system right over us. So, we got all the moisture really in the country with this low that's just spinning around here from the Midwest into the north east some rain or snow showers lots of cold air up in that direction we were on the cool side of this high as we finish off the weekend and right behind it Another high is just off to our west, so more cool air is filtering in, but this high is really going to take charge of our forecast over the next four days or so, and we'll really tap into its warm sector with lots of sunshine and a big warm-up as we go uh, from mid to late week. Now, skycast shows that we do have mainly clear skies during the overnight, and temperatures with the light wind will really start to fall. Midnight temperature around 30, 34 degrees, uh, depending on where you are, but overnight lows should be into the mid 20s for most of us. A few clouds, especially in our northern and eastern counties for the day tomorrow. Otherwise, mostly sunny skies. We do make it back up into the low to mid 70s. And then uh, starting off your Thursday, just after daybreak, upper 30s and lower 40s, so a little warmer, really getting to the warm sector from that system. Lots of sunshine for the high on Thursday by the afternoon, with mid to upper 70s getting to that 10 to 15 degrees above average level by around Thursday. And we'll stay there for Friday into Saturday. So the cool side of this high is exiting the high crest over us. And as we go through the end of the work week, this high moves off to the east, uh, the low and the warm front move off to the north. And all that can happen is we have this very strong southern wind in the upper atmosphere. That's really going to warm us up as we finish out the uh, work week. And uh, going through the weekend, there is going to be a change. We are going to cool down. We also have some moisture chances on the way. Here's the forecast tonight. Clear skies and cold with most of us into the mid-20s, but we warm right back up there. Mid to upper 70s as we go through the day on, uh, on uh, tomorrow for your uh, Wednesday. Mostly sunny skies and warm. And some areas into the upper 70s to maybe near 80 degrees for Thursday. Winds west 10 to 15 miles per hour. Dry conditions. Still lots of sunshine and we keep a good amount of sunshine through Friday. Fall a couple of degrees to 75 but still warm for this time of year. Highs near 80 on Saturday. Lots of sunshine and 76 on Sunday. We'll cloud up with a chance of showers overnight Sunday into Monday. The wind picks up from more of a northerly direction and that really does cool us off. Monday's high of 59 and we keep windy conditions. Partly cloudy skies on Tuesday. Another day a high of 59. Ken? Yeah, some very warm weather to end our week. Yeah, really getting warm. Uh, we're getting into late October right now, so these are uh, pretty uh, well above average. Yeah. All right, thanks so much, Justin. A new study finds that many U.S. adults with diabetes ration insulin to save money. Researchers analyzed findings based on data from the 2021 National Health Interview oh, Survey conducted by the CDC. The survey interviews tens of thousands of Americans about their health-related experiences. They found that nearly one in five adults in the U.S. with diabetes either skipped, delayed, or used less insulin 